Hello and welcome to our GCB Mindset channel and all you need to know about clinical research. Today, we'll start a new series. We'll go over some of the challenges often faced in clinical research, starting with regulatory challenges, this time on medical devices including IVDs. More after the break. Regulatory submissions for clinical investigations can be extremely cumbersome, especially when it comes to regulatory pathways for medical devices, combination products, or even IVDs. Navigating the administrative regulatory requirements across different regions not only requires a comprehensive knowledge of the relevant volumes of regulations and articles, directives, but it also it's vital to be aware of the cultural differences of that particular region that will impact the submission process for the product. Let's take you through some of the examples. As clinical trials become more complex, regulatory requirements evolve and become even more strict than they used to be before. In the EU, for instance, we've had several updates in the regulatory environment for medical devices since implementation of MDR for medical devices, IVD regulations, updates on databases, revisions, so on and so forth. Hence, startup phases can be daunting, resulting to massive delays, deficiency letters, lots of administrative tasks, and in some cases can be demotivating for innovative device manufacturers. We should therefore keep in mind these differences. We are aware that in the US, rigorous clinical studies are required for clinical efficacy for devices, whereas in the EU, don't expect the same process as in the US. Our regulatory pathways varies depending on several things. For instance, the classification of devices taking into account the intended purpose of the device and their inherent risk, whether or not a clinical evaluation consultation is required. Also, is the device already CE marked? Is a notified body involvement required? For more on the topic of CE marking, you can find our previous video using the link above. Also, is the device already in the market? Which reports should be collected? The region of interest for marketing authorization. As much as the industry complains about slower processes, higher costs, and less products on the market, which might have a negative impact on important treatments of patients, nevertheless, it has also been decided that regulations should be harmonized through the EU Thus, complaints do not help the industry and the industry just needs to adapt accordingly. Another challenge we often experience is timelines. Timelines can vary depending on the study, also on the member of state, often around 30 to 60 days. What you don't want is a delay, which can of course have a massive impact on the project start dates, as you cannot start a study before your approvals. Before submission, your regulatory support team will help you identify the responsible authorities together with any local requirements. In the case of deficiencies, please also note that it's important to adhere to the rules and requirements of the authorities and not start the trial without a definite favorable opinion in writing. For example, a sponsor based in the US solely relies on one agency, the FDA. When wanting to explore the EU market with a medical device, may want to involve different sites from the EU. When selecting sites, it's important to keep in mind that across all 28 member states combined to create the European Union, the new regulation for medical devices, MDR, also intends to bring more transparency, reduce potential errors or malfunctions, hence safer devices on the market. You should also take into account any local requirements relevant to your product specific for that member state. It also matters whether we are talking about the European Economic Area, EEA, or even UK since Brexit. Still not sure of where to start from? Talk to a regulatory expert. Let this not hinder useful products and devices from entering the market for our patients that are in dire need of them. Thanks for watching. We're curious if you have any specific challenge we should cover. Drop us an email or comments below. Until next time, tschüss!